Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a collective haul. I've had to order some things because a lot of my stuff is in storage. If you didn't know, I moved back to Florida. So we're in Florida, but our stuff is still in storage. I've had to take a couple of clients and also just like for personal use, I've had to purchase a couple of things. I've been going to Sephora and Ulta a lot. Also, my skin has changed. It's become even more sensitive here in Florida. I didn't think that was possible, but apparently Apparently it is so what I was using before which is like vanity cream moisturizer vanity cream cleanser kind of stopped working for me specifically the cleanser so I've been on the hunt for a new skincare routine and honestly my skin has gotten so much better since I've switched to a few of these products that I picked up so I'll talk to you guys about those I did bring a lot of items for my kit when I moved down here because I figured I was gonna be taking clients but there were certain things that I was missing or that I forgot to pack I'm gonna get started with what I got at Sephora and the first item is actually what has has changed my skin I feel like the most I use this app called skin safe and I pretty much use it to check everything because I got a couple of allergy tests done back in New York and I found out the ingredients that I'm allergic to but it was so hard for me to sort through products like on Sephora's website just seeing the ingredients sometimes they're masked as different names so for example I'm allergic to formaldehyde but a lot of times in the ingredient list you're not gonna see formaldehyde they're usually under different names another big one that I just found out that I'm allergic to was this ingredient called Balm of Peru or Balsam of Peru. Pretty much what it is, it's fragrance. So I already knew I was allergic to fragrance and products, but that kind of sealed the deal. And so I've been avoiding things with fragrance in them, specifically for my face. But one thing that I didn't realize I was allergic to was a coconut ingredient that was in my vanity cream cleanser. So when I got here, I was breaking out. I kept getting this one little red itchy bump on either side of my cheek. And I honestly thought it was everything but vanity cream. It just couldn't be vanity cream in my head I'm like no impossible vanity cream is free of formaldehyde it's free of fragrance like it's not breaking me out because it's so gentle and made for sensitive skin so I kept using it I thought it was my sunglasses breaking me out because it was kind of in that area I would only get those red itchy bumps like right under my eye I thought it was the sunglasses I thought it was eating chocolate I thought it was gluten I thought it was everything but as soon as I cut out the vanity cream cleanser the bump is pretty much gone now some products still bring the bumps out so I'm still kind of testing everything but I feel way more at peace knowing that I have a cleanser that doesn't do that to me that doesn't aggravate that red itchy bump situation that I kept getting so for example concealers if I use a concealer that has an ingredient that I'm allergic to whether it has rose extract or coconuts things like that then I'll get the red bump all that to say I found a cleanser that works for me and this cleanser is very expensive it's $75 and it's an enzyme cleanser so it's a Dr. Barbara Sturm enzyme cleanser so it's a cleanser in powder form so you basically take the powder onto the palm of your hand you mix it with some water and it foams up and creates this like lather that you then clean your face so in one way the $75 can be justified to me because you get way more usage out of something like this out of an enzyme cleanser than just like your traditional cleanser and the reason I feel like it doesn't break me out is because it's in powder form they're not adding all of these other additives to make it a gel or a foam or a liquid so this has honestly changed my skin so so much like I mentioned before there are still some products that are still giving me some irritation on my cheeks but as far as the rest of my skin it is so baby soft like I did my makeup today for the first time in a really long time because of this whole skin allergy issue which honestly is the reason why I don't really post that much anymore it's because every time I wear something the next day I'm full of red itchy bumps breakouts so it makes me not want to put makeup on and that sucks so bad because this is like my passion I'm trying to find what works so that I can get back to wearing makeup and creating videos and creating content so ever since I switched to using this cleanser it's really really helped and my makeup just went on so smooth today I didn't feel like it was dry I didn't have dry flaky spots and the reason why I feel like my skin is a lot softer one because I found something that isn't aggravating or making the problem worse but also because it is an enzyme cleanser it's also gently exfoliating the skin so all the dead skin is just getting sloughed off and I'm left with like brand new baby soft skin if you are interested in an enzyme cleanser I will give you a little secret though there's this brand called Babor and it's also a German brand and they sell this exact same enzyme cleanser it's on Amazon even and 
it's like half the price and it literally has the same exact ingredients I just went with this one because I went in store and got it at Sephora I wanted to get something quickly so I picked this one up it's very luxurious it's very nice it doesn't irritate me and it's been working honestly I've spent so much more money than $75 just trying to find something that works for me I've purchased even more expensive cleansers that end up irritating me that I ended up just keeping and just having there in my vanity for no reason so I definitely can justify it when it works for me and it doesn't irritate me it's like literally finding gold I'm gonna knock on all the wood because I feel really happy that I found it so Dr. Barbara Sturm enzyme cleanser I hear nobody talking about this maybe a few people on TikTok when I looked it up but if you are suffering from extremely sensitive skin or your skin is like dehydrated but also oily and everything kind of irritates you Dr. Barbara Sturm I picked up this NARS natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade Syracuse for my makeup kits because I was missing this shade I literally use this foundation on almost everyone unless someone tells me they have extremely sensitive acne prone skin then I won't use this because NARS can break some people out but if they have normal skin oily skin dry skin it's pretty much always gonna be natural radiant long wear I really really do love it and it's never let me down it lasts forever and it's just so blendable and I love the shades so I picked this up for my kits I saw this at checkout and usually I'm pretty good about not falling for the minis and the checkout stuff but this is the summer proof brow kits from Anastasia it was $30 and it says the value is 48 you get a full size of the dip brow you get a mini clear brow gel a brush the number 12 Anastasia brush brow brush and I feel like for that price that's really really good even though I only saved $18 I don't know I feel like you're saving more somehow but I've been wanting to try dip brow again and I got this in the shade medium brown so I feel like this kit is a really good way to try out the dip brow because you're getting the brush you're getting the gel and you're getting the pomade so you have everything you need in here to do your brows I use the Anastasia medium brown pencil on my brows but I miss having the dip brow especially for like the tail of the brow because dip brow really does last forever and ever on the brows especially if you set it you could also use the pomade as an eyeliner like a gel liner I've seen people do that and I really love the little mini Anastasia clear brow gel so I picked this up at the checkout I've been kind of itching to do my brows differently so I picked that up I also picked up another of the precisely my brow pencil from benefit in 3.5 this is what I've been using if I'm not using the Anastasia pencil I'm using this one and I love this shade 3.5 because it's pretty neutral it's what I have on my eyebrows right now it's such a nice fine tip and you just can't go wrong with a benefit brow pencil it's either Anastasia or benefit for me that's pretty much like the holy grail of holy grails I did try the morphe one and I did really like it but I only used it like twice and then the third time when I went to use it there was nothing in it so not sure what happened there maybe the pencil fell out or it ran out I don't know but that never really happens with the benefit or the Anastasia so I can trust it it's just the bomb two more items for my kit I got the Anastasia lip liner and this is in cherry it's the most perfect like true red lip liner I also got the Sephora lip stain in always red which also is like the most perfect true blue toned red it lasts so long on the lips and I ended up getting these two because I had a client that requested a red lip beforehand and I realized I didn't have my bag full of all of the different color lips like I have a bunch of nudes in the kit but I didn't have like the reds and the pinks so I needed to go out and buy these when I was packing I didn't really think it through too much but it's good to have a red lip always because I feel like when I do get a request for a pop of color on the lips it's usually red I rarely rarely ever get a bright pink request but I am gonna get one just to have it because you never want to be without it I picked up these two loose powders I got the hourglass veil translucent setting powder again I have this in my storage and it kills me to know that I have something I think I actually have two of these but in order for me to get two specific products in the storage it's it's just really not happening. I wanted to try a talc free powder under my eyes again and I remembered that the hourglass one is talc free. I love this stuff. I've been using it and I just felt back in love with it. It's just such an amazing powder. If you're getting tired and bored of using the same old like Laura Mercier, I still love it but if you're getting bored and you want to try something new, try the hourglass. Again, it has cleaner ingredients and I feel like it does such a beautiful job. It just looks so airbrushed on the skin. I actually have on the Derma Blend translucent loose setting powder under my eyes right now but for the most part since I got this one, I've been using this one. But I also picked up this powder for my kits. I so wish that Huda Beauty would just remove the fragrance from this Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder because this truly is the GOAT. Like, this is the greatest of all time when it comes to powders. If you want your makeup to look airbrushed, like literally face tune, it's this. It's the Huda Beauty. So I picked up the shade Sugar Cookie because I do have the Cherry Blossom with me, but I wanted to have the Translucent. I feel like it is translucent, but it is a little bit brightening. But this is the Sugar Cookie, so 
it's like the whitish one so I figured let's just start with sugar cookie I do love pound cake I love all of the shades honestly this powder is just elite if you're not sensitive to fragrance you don't mind smelling it it is a pretty strong floral fragrance or if your skin doesn't mind it then the Huda Beauty but if you're using this and you're breaking out it could be the fragrance again if I have a client and they tell me that they're not sensitive the Huda Beauty is definitely going on their face because it just leaves the skin so soft looking like a filter in real life I absolutely love it to bake it really just does the job so I picked this one up for my kit and I am a little jealous because I cannot use it I also got this Huda Beauty Tantor contour and bronzer cream I got this for myself and I feel like it was breaking me out it is such an amazing very creamy contour slash bronzing kind of thing I got it in the shade fair and this is so creamy and emollient it literally blends like a dream on the face you don't have to try too hard I also love this packaging because you could just dip your brush in and apply it to your face that way you get a way better blend an easier blend on myself I typically do go in just with the contour stick straight onto the face with some formulas if they dry up by the time I get to the other cheek it's drying up so I definitely love this aspect where you could just take your brush blend it out onto your hand and then go onto your face you just get a way better blend that way it looks less muddy get less product on your face so it's less cakey so I love that I definitely love this but I did use it twice and I noticed that I was breaking out directly where I applied this product and I don't understand why because when I check the ingredients I don't see anything that would be the culprit and it is skin safe according to that website and app that's kind of scary because it's kind of like hmm is there something else that I'm missing that's in this that is breaking me out but unfortunately it is and I kind of figured because usually things that are extremely creamy and blendable and emollient will break me out because I have oily skin so very creamy plus my oily skin equals breakout before when I never used to use cream products just powders I feel like I broke out less but it's like kind of once you go into using cream products you can't go back like just using powders powder blush powder contour it's just not the same anymore once you've entered the world of creams you just can't go back I just have to find the creams that work for me so unfortunately this Huda one isn't it but if you're not sensitive this is so so nice I also just want to note that these run super super warm so if you're into a warm bronzer look then definitely this product is for you if you want something more for like a true contour these shades in the Huda Tantor line are not cool I didn't have a primer with me that I liked and I was between the Lancome La Base Pro and the Hourglass Mineral Veil and I went with the Lancome one I kind of still do want to pick up the Hourglass because I remember loving that for so long and it really just made my makeup always like last so much longer but I went with this one because of the ingredients and also the Hourglass one really leaves your skin matte but this one really isn't like too mattifying it's more just smoothing it comes out clear and it's more of just like a smoothing pore minimizing kind of situation where the hourglass one I loved more for also a little bit of pore smoothing but more so for making my makeup waterproof and it lasting longer so I went with this one for now and it's been pretty awesome I haven't used primer in a really long time but I was itching to use a primer again so I picked up the Lancome one I picked up the Sephora weightless false lash in Flutter and Stare. I love this Sephora Weightless False Lash Collection because the band is clear but the lashes are not super super skimpy. I feel like when you get an invisible band on a lash you don't really get like a full lash or like a cute style. I benefit more so from like a cat eye kind of shape or something a little more voluminous so I picked these up in Flutter and Stare. They have a couple of different styles. None of them irritate my lash line so if you're having issues with lashes irritating your eye and it's not the glue it could be the band on the lash I've talked about that before if the band is very black and thick it can definitely give more of an irritation because the band itself has an ingredient in it that is giving you an irritation so if you're using a lash glue like I use the duo white and green lash glue it does not irritate my eyes it's formaldehyde 3 but if I use that glue with a lash that does irritate my eyes then I'm still gonna get that irritation because it's not the glue it's the band try an invisible band and if you're into more of like a cute style you don't want to just do like a Zemi Wispy from like Ardell or or like drugstore lashes the Sephora collection the weightless false lashes are amazing and you can use them a couple of times you want to just take care of them because again they don't have a thick band so they're a little more sensitive and you just want to you know be careful with them but I do really love these so I got the flutter and stare from Sephora I also picked up the one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray I love this stuff I have the full size in my storage and I needed to pick this up to put into my kit this stuff is like hairspray for your face your makeup will not go anywhere with this stuff it is very strong so I always tell my clients to hold their breath when I spray them but it literally sprays out like hairspray it does the job it does the trick and in this Florida heat you definitely need something like this I picked up the mini because they didn't have the full size if not I definitely would have picked up the full size but it's always 
out of stock so if you see this pick it up especially for the summer you won't regret it and then lastly from Sephora I got the Touchland Glow Mist this is just a hand sanitizer I got it in the rose water I actually didn't smell this one I feel like I smelled this a while back but let's see Mm. It is a little sticky and it smells very floral. The sales associate told me this was her favorite one, but I definitely still prefer the Zhao, J-A-O, Zhao hand refresher, hand sanitizer. That smells like a spa in a bottle. This is just a little too, too floral and like rose heavy. I feel like my client probably wouldn't like that since it's so strong. You want something like nice and light and airy on the hands, so I'm not really feeling that. I asked her which one was like the lightest one. She told me that one, but I don't know about that. Next, we have some goodies from Ulta and Target. So I'm going to start off with this blush from NYX. This is the Sweet Cheeks Matte Cream powder blush and the shade is rose and play it's actually the blush that I have on right now it's the only blush that I have on right now and I have this but I missed it so much that I went out and bought it again like that's how you know that's how you know I really like it like I have a bunch of blushes with me but I was just itching to have this one it has great ingredients in it the color is just so pretty and it goes with any look I love that it's buildable because you can do just a few layers for like a nice soft natural look or you can build it up like I did today and it does the job so NYX sweet cheeks in rose and play another NYX product this is the matte bronzer in the shade medium so I missed having hula with me because I don't have it with me it's in the storage the theme of this video is I already own this but I don't have it with me it's in the storage but this one I actually don't own but I missed having hula benefit hula and I love hula to contour my nose but I was trying to save a couple bucks so I went with the NYX matte bronzer because I heard it's kind of like a dupe for it but I will say it's similar but I still do miss hula this formula is a little bit more thick I would say hula is a thinner formula but it definitely does the job I mean for a drugstore bronzer I feel like it's hard to find a good drugstore bronzer other than the physicians formula bronzer I really don't know of many bronzers that I like actually Maybelline came out with a new one it's like a city bronzer I think it's called that's like going viral on TikTok I want to pick that up but this one I wanted just for like a quick nose contour but I will say the formula is a little bit thicker the color is on point though it's not too warm not too cool which is what I like for a nose contour so NYX matte bronzer in medium I also picked it up because it was safe on the app on the app that I use it has non pore clogging ingredients which we love over here and then this one too the Maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter in molten gold this is another product that is hundred percent skin safe so it's not going to break you out and it is like the most gorgeous golden highlight it gives the most perfect golden sheen and I love this type of like champagne gold as like a nose highlight it looks very much like the one size Fantasia gold gold highlight where it has a little bit of shimmer but they're not like thick chunky glitters they're more of like a golden sheen so I picked that up from Maybelline and I'm really loving Maybelline right now I've been loving the Maybelline fit me foundation so I wanted to pick up the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder this is in a hundred translucent it is very very bright on me I have to use this very sparingly or I will have the most white of under eyes I honestly should have went with one or two or three shades darker because this is very bright but I do like this like very concentrated right in the inner corner like right next to the nose contour if I'm going out I want like a full glam look super bomb formula but again I just picked up way too light of a shade but also I could use this to blank out my eyelids after I put concealer on them as like a blank canvas so Maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder probably gonna pick it up in a shade or two darker because that's just a little too bright sometimes I'm heavy-handed and I'll end up with like way too bright of an under eye I also got this for my kit this is the elf power grip primer I've heard nothing but amazing amazing things about this I mean people rave about this they cannot live without this primer and I'm like I need to see what the hype is about I mean I've heard it's even better than the milk hydro grip primer which is like glue for your face so I picked this up because when this heats this Florida heat does not play any games and if you're going to a wedding and you're my client I need to make sure that your makeup lasts so it needs to last through rain sun all of that let's see what the hype is about with this one I'm way too scared to put this on my face because of my sensitive skin I don't know if I could trust it. I know people say that it doesn't break them out but when it's like something like a power gripping primer and it's really sticky I feel like it's just asking for a breakout for me so I got this for my kids I don't have the milk one on me and I want my clients makeup to last forever and ever so we shall see I will put that to the test 
I also picked up these three eyeliners from L'Oreal. It's the infallible line. I got it in black, carbon black. This one is the 16 hour wear. So one for me and one for my kids. And I also got the purple and I want to pick up the blue. I really love these L'Oreal infallible pencils. They do the job. I have the brown bronze shade and I love it. I wore it in another video. I believe it was a Sephora haul, but you guys really loved the brown liner that I had on and it was actually just a pencil and it was in the shade bronze from L'Oreal. So I got the purple and I also got this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Deep Onyx black liner. It's waterproof. Pretty much I'm on the hunt for the best black drugstore eyeliner that doesn't transfer. So the way that I like to use black liner is to tight line on the above lash line, the upper lid, right under my lashes. And I don't want it to transfer to the bottom. Sometimes I'm wearing brown liner on the bottom or white cream or nothing on the bottom lower lash line. But the way that my eyes are set up, I can't even do the cute inner corner like feline cat liner that's so trendy and looks beautiful. I can do that on my eyes because no no eyeliner stays. It always smudges down. I've tried gel, I've tried powder, I've tried liquid, I've tried pencil. Nothing stays. So I've kind of given up on trying that trend of doing like the eyeliner on the inner corner. It's kind of like a wing but on the inner eye corner. But I do still like to apply black liner on the upper rim to tight line. And I still can't find something other than the Kat Von D liner that really just stays on the upper lash line without transferring down. So we shall test these L'Oreal and Maybelline ones out and see what they do I want a black 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 lash line but I don't want black on the bottom that's more to go out for me I don't like to wear black liner on my lower lash line for like everyday looks like for example the look that I have on right now I wouldn't do like a thick black liner on the bottom because it's very intense especially on my eyes it can just look very very nighttime and it's also such a pain to remove so I told you guys the struggle with finding a cleanser now the dr. Barbara Sturm enzyme cleanser is really nice because it's also exfoliating your skin but I can't use that twice a day every day it's just way too much it's gentle but it's still exfoliating at the end of the day so I needed something for the morning so I'm trying out the La Roche-Posay Tolerane the blue one the purifying cleanser that one's nice but it is a little intense so I saw on the app that I use that this one had really great ingredients non pore clogging it's the Neutrogena ultra gentle hydrating cleanser in the creamy formula it says it's dermatologist developed for even the most dry and sensitive skin and it's fragrance free it says it's safe for acne eczema rosacea fragrance free soap free dye free paraben free hypoallergenic non comedogenic so I've been trying it and it's really nice but I will say it is a little bit tingly it has like a little bit of a minty feeling on the face which kind of shocked me but it does feel nice in the mornings I just want to find out if it's supposed to be this like kind of feeling it just says it's a creamy cleanser and it works in an advanced skin friendly way I don't know not too sure why I have that feeling but I'm trying this out for the mornings when I just need a quick cleanse and I don't need to do the most. I also picked up a new shaving cream. This is from Cremo. It's the moisturizing formula and it's the coconut mango shave cream. It says it's impossibly slick barber grade formula. Fights nicks, irritation, and razor burns. Give you a close and comfortable shave. This smells so good. It smells like summer. It smells like kind of like a hair product. So I will test this out because I needed a new shaving cream. I was using the Tree Hut shaving oil. But again, I don't have it with me. So I needed something other than just soap to shave because I get a little too comfortable trying to shave with nothing and I need to stop that. I also picked this up which might be a little controversial but it's the Honey Pot Cucumber Aloe Foaming Wash. I know everyone kind of canceled the Honey Pot but I haven't found anything that's come close to the Honey Pot and I remember really loving the Cucumber Aloe because it's very fresh and not too too fragranced. I'm not trying to be out here trying out different washes for the hoo-ha because that can go very very left real quick. So Honey Pot it is what it is. I got the Cucumber Aloe one because it's never done me dirty. I was at Ulta, minding my business, getting one thing, and on the way out, I saw something gold, and I was like, what is that? And it turned out to be the Continuous Prep and Set Mist. So I'm like, oh, maybe they just changed the packaging, or it's like limited edition packaging. No, honey. They went ahead and relaunched this, I guess, or added this version of it. I love the original Continuous Setting Mist. It's so, so bomb, especially because of the mist that it gives. So this one is Prep and Set Mist Plus, and it says it's supercharged with ceramides and antioxidants, so it's pretty Pretty much the same one. It says our cult favorite microfine mist gets amped up with ceramides known to hydrate, nourish, and strengthen the skin's barrier, electrolytes to help enhance moisture for a healthy glow, and antioxidants known for boosting elasticity. So they know that everyone is skincare obsessed right now. Just the words ceramides, skin barrier, you know you're gonna sell because that's what everyone's looking for right now. Strengthening the barrier, adding ceramides, adding hydration. It's just
just kind of like a marketing thing but also in a way it's kind of like yeah we do kind of need that our barriers are asking for help right now from all of the years of experimentation so I fell in and I bought it so I'm gonna test it out right now let's see Ooh. Ooh, very fresh it kind of has a light scent to it, but it feels very, very refreshing and soft. Still supposed to be long wearing, so it's supposed to help your makeup last longer, but also have like that boost of skincare in there. So we shall see. This I picked up because of a girl that I follow on TikTok. I love her content and I always see her using this. I used to use this Redken product. This is the One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment, but I just realized that you can leave it in. For some reason, I thought those were two separate products. I thought there was a leave-in and a treatment that you rinse out. I also also got this Naturium Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash. It smells like Elmer's glue, but I got it because the KP on my arms is back. It's not really KP. I get like these small little bumps, but just on my upper arms. I don't get it anywhere else, but I have a feeling it's from my hair because it's kind of where my hair rests. So it could be from the conditioner that I'm using or the shampoo or something because I will literally just use Dove soap and they'll come back. They do go away in the sun. When I'm out in the sun and I get a little bit of color, they dry up and they go away but I'm hoping that this will help the smoother glycolic I mean everyone on TikTok raves about this I do have the glow getter I think it's called the oil body wash from Naturium in the shower right now but that stuff is dangerous you will slip and slide if you use that and are not careful because it's literally an oil so you're washing yourself with oil and then if you don't have a mat on your shower which I don't like to have mats in the shower you will definitely fall if you're not aware of it so make sure to use that very carefully but I got this one because again TikTok said I needed it we will We'll see last but not least these two little cute minis so this is just a little bioderma sensi bio micellar water i got this to put in my kits in my bag so that i can use to remove any makeup any residue any fallout pretty much just a micellar water cleansing water and i just love this mini it's so cute it's very nice and gentle and sensitive skin friendly and then this is literally the cutest thing i've ever seen it's a mini deodorant but i've never been able to find my exact deodorant in a mini anytime that i've ever traveled and i've traveled quite a few times in my life i've always gone to Target, CVS, Walgreens, you name it, I've been to the travel section. I can never find my exact deodorant in a mini, so I end up just carrying my full size. This is the Degree Shower Clean. It has to be the Shower Clean. It's my favorite scent. Anytime I swear this, people ask me what it is. It kind of almost smells like perfume, but in a very clean way, and I've never been able to find the mini of it. I should have picked up two or three because I've always been on the hunt for this. I've even Googled it and never found it, but I found it, I think, at CVS, so I had to have it. It's just so stinking cute, and now I don't have to travel with a full big size. I don't even have travel plans coming up, but I was like, I need to have this because I've been looking for you for years and it never existed. So degree, shower clean in the little mini. Had to have it. And so that is everything that I picked up for myself and for my kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this little beauty collective haul. I miss you guys so much. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Beauty Bar Rosita. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.